Did you know that all mortgages are frauds? Yes, I said all of them and I meant all of them. Now, if we look at the etymology of mortgage, we're gonna see mort is dead plus gauge is a pledge. So it literally means dead pledge. And to me, that sounds a lot like somebody crossing their fingers whenever you promise them something, meaning they're gonna be doing some shady shit. Now, I'm not gonna do a thorough breakdown on the history of where mortgages come from, but here's a reference source that you can go to. You go to freedomschool.com, the Shitar's effect on English law. A law of the Khazarians become the law of the land. Yes, I said that on purpose. So typically when you're approved for a loan and you go to do the signings, there are two primary documents that are at the table for you to sign. One is the mortgage or the deed of trust, and the other one is the promissory note. The mortgage slash deed of trust is a security agreement that pledges the property as security for the debt. And the promissory note is simply your promise to pay. Now, here's the problem. What they're not disclosing to you is that that note is actually a security. If you go to 15 U.S.C. section 78 C. 10, it gives you the definition of security. Further down it says, a security shall not include currency or any note, draft, bill of exchange, or banker's acceptance, which has a maturity at the time of issuance not exceeding nine months. But most mortgages are 30 year term mortgages. And notice, you're the only one that's signing something. So that means that you are what's called the first issuer of that security. It is your signature that is funding the whole operation but they don't disclose that to you. And another thing they don't tell you is that deposits or anything like a loan is really a cash equivalent. Now this is according to the Financial Accounting Standings Board 95, and I'm gonna start right here. For example, a bank's granting of a loan by crediting the proceeds to a customer's demand deposit account is a cash payment by the bank and the cash receipt of the customer when the entry is made. But unbeknownst to you, you're the one who's issuing them credit. So you're really the one who's funding the whole transaction. Now let's go back to mortgage to where it says see wage because I want to get biblical real quick. Because if you read the Bible through a commercial lens, it's totally different. So the word sin is equivalent of debt. So for the wages of sin is death, which is why the mortgage is a dead pledge. And biblical principles teach you how to operate in commerce. So at Proverbs 22, 7, it says, the rich shall rule over the poor and the borrower is slave to the lender because you have to work to pay that debt off. Proverbs 11, 15, whoever puts up security for a stranger will surely suffer, but whoever refuses to shake hands and pledge is safe and mortgages are securities. Now this is a speech from the floor of Congress. If you had a smart lawyer like those banks up there on Wall Street can get, they will take you into court and they couldn't find a mortgage. When those companies say that they have your mortgage, unless you can find a lawyer that can put his or her finger on that mortgage, you don't have that mortgage. And you are going to find that they cannot find that paper up there on Wall Street. They can't find it because they sold it so many times they made money off your note. 